so this video is going to be an updated car bag tour sort of thing. So I made this video about a year ago and it seemed to go over pretty well. Uh, people seem to enjoy it. So a lot has changed since then. <laughs> I've changed the bag up a lot. What I keep, what I don't keep in the car and so on. So to give you a little heads up, if you haven't watched that other video, basically this bag is Juno's bag and it stays in the car all the time. So it has everything we would need for any type of adventure and emergency, basically anything we would need at all times. The only time it gets taken out of the car really is if it goes in the truck. Now the truck has its own little bag that I've kind of started so that I don't have to do that, but at the end of the day, it doesn't have everything that this bag has. And this is really her solid go bag, her travel bag. So I'm gonna go and break this one down, um, like I said, because a lot has changed. These videos are my favorite videos to watch. I love seeing other people's car setups for their dogs. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in knowing what we keep in the car at all times, keep watching. So this is Juno's new car bag. It is probably twice the size of her previous car bag. You can see my hand for reference here. This bag, I believe, is like $35 to $40 on Amazon. It's from a brand called A2Z Furry Friends. I think it's unfortunately currently unavailable, but there are a lot of similar bags on Amazon to this. Like same setup, same features, all that kind of stuff. So the big thing um, I liked about this bag was it's got lots of pockets, but it's organized. So my previous bag was just like one big cavity and then no real organization, which I mean it had the sides, but the inside was just one big cavity. So that's what I really like about this one that's different. But let's start with the outside pockets first and then we'll get into the inside. Okay, so the first thing you can see here is it's got two straps um, that make it like a carry bag. It's got a big zipper top and a zippered front pocket. So in the zippered front pocket, I keep a leash and an extra collar. Now, I don't know if this collar even fits Juno anymore, but it's not really for Juno, which I know sounds kind of silly, but it's more for if we come across any loose dogs or anything like that um, in our travels. And I like to keep an extra leash as well because most of her leashes are pretty short and that's a six foot one. On this side, we've got this elastic mesh pocket. Inside of it is a scoop that pops out. This came with the bag and I keep it with the bag. It's good for scooping kibble. So I keep it right there in that side pocket. The other side also has a side pocket. This one has a poop bag roll in it. Um, it would normally have more poop bag rolls in it, but I'm running low, so I need to order some more. But poop bags are what go on that side. I want them easily accessible for when we may need them. This, what's really cool is if you can see, this right here is basically good for suitcases. So just like a laptop bag, you can slide the suitcase handle through here. It'll ride on the top of the suitcase and then you don't have to carry it separately. So that's really nice. So now we're going into the main portion of the bag. So if you flip the top up here, you can see that there is a zippered pocket right here on the top. In this pocket, I keep her wipes and an empty gallon sized plastic bag. These things are the same from the previous um, bag that we had. The wipes are just great for wiping her face down and stuff like that, paws, anything like that when we're out and about and I need to get her cleaned up. And then the big gallon sized plastic bag is good for basically anything that I don't want touching anything else. <laughs> so um, a wet towel, a dirty uh, diaper if she's in heat, anything like that, I can put in that plastic bag. It won't smell up or get anything else gross. Um, and I think that that's just really important to have in your bag. So now you can see we're getting into the main portion of the bag here. What I love so much about this bag is that it's sectioned off. So you've got this section here and this section here. They're both the same size, but it really helps you organize stuff out, which is really important to me. So in this first section here, you'll see a ball on a rope. So 
I just made this recently, so I've added it to her bag um, for obedience sessions and things like that. She is very toy driven, so and especially ball driven, so I keep that in there. And then you'll see this orange bag here. So let me take this out and we can go into more detail about this. So this little bag is a Marchway floating waterproof dry bag. So what it's really meant for is people who are kayaking or on the boat and stuff like that. What I'm using it for is kibble. The reason I wanted a waterproof bag is that I really want the kibble to stay dry. I don't want it to get musty or moldy or so on. And so that's why having the kibble in a dry bag was really important to me. It's this beautiful orange color and it matches her crate, but it is available in a lot of other colors and it's only $10. This size is only $10 on Amazon. So what's really cool about this bag is that it just unsnaps here and then you roll it open, open it up, and then you can see I've got the kibble in there. Close it back up. I just squeeze all the air out of it. Roll it up like this. Snap it shut. And then you've got a waterproof bag. Now I want to keep kibble in the car at all times because I never know when we may need some. We may be in a situation where we end up staying at a friend's or something overnight instead of coming back home. And if I'm in that type of situation, or really any type of situation, it's good to have kibble. Um, and there are three servings or three days worth of kibble in that bag and it can hold obviously plenty more and it fits just perfectly in this side of the bag. So that is a new addition to this bag that I did not have in my previous car bag. Now let's dive in to the right hand side of the bag. So I have three things in this side of the bag. The first is this little zipper pouch. So this little pouch has her Biothane long line in it. Now this was great. This little bag came with the big bag. It actually came with two of these and I think these are meant for like kibble and treats and stuff like that but I preferred to use the orange bag that you just saw. So I have two of these to play with. I'm only using one currently in the bag and like I said it's currently storing her Biothane long line. This has been a lifesaver. I don't use it very much anymore now that she's off leash trained, but when I did, it would get tangled up in the bag, and even now it's just kind of in the way. So now I get to always have it with me, but it's not getting tangled up and everything and getting knotted and so on. So that has been really nice for me being OCD and wanting this bag super organized. <laughs> the next thing in the right hand side of the bag is a towel, another essential for a car bag is a towel. So this is great if we're going to go play at dog beach or sometimes when we go to dock diving before I put her back in the car I like to towel dry her off a little bit just kind of help uh, keep the water down inside the crate and so on and make her a little bit more comfortable. So definitely a crucial car bag item. And the final thing in Juno's go bag is a pet first aid kit. Now I'm not going to go into detail on this pet first aid kit because I have added some things and I want to make a separate video on everything in this first aid kit, what I've added and what I think is important to have. But I think it's extremely crucial to always have some sort of first aid kit, specifically one good for your pet when you're out adventuring. You never know what you're going to encounter, you never know what your dog may encounter and it's great to get a little bit of a jump start on your way to get them to the vet or before you get them to the vet. So definitely keep an eye out, I'm going to be making a separate video on this. So that is it for Juno's car bag. That's everything that we keep with us at all times when we're out adventuring together. I'm going to do my best to link everything in the description in terms of what I have now uh, to the best of my ability. But let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. And let me know what you guys keep in your car bag too. I'd love to know. Also, let me know if you guys enjoy these videos because I want to make stuff that is helpful to you guys and that you enjoy. So definitely let me know and thank you again for watching.